Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Killer Body Transformers Bumblebee electronic remote and voice controlled helmet. If you are in the market for adding this magnificent piece to your collection, please check out the links down in the description box below. We have a lot to cover, so without further ado, let's get straight into the review. Starting things off and taking a look here first at the detailing, I believe Killer Body have done an extraordinary job in recreating and capturing Bumblebee's helmet design from the Transformers Bumblebee solo movie. This looks as if though it's just jumped straight out of the screen. The sculpting and detailing to this piece is truly amazing and that's even before we take a look at the paint applications. You can see that we've got this silver metallic coat here for the front of Bumblebee's faceplate with these subtle highlights of rust detailing scattered throughout. It really is some of the best paintwork I've ever seen on a collectibles piece. We've got the transparent blue there for the eye sockets which do indeed light up which I'll showcase later on throughout the review. We've got the subtle detailings there of where Bumblebee's nose would be, his mouthpiece there which looks extraordinary. We've got a very precisely sculpted in Autobot insignia here and I love the silver stripes that come down. The overall smoothness and elegance to the Bumblebee movie helmet design really did resonate well with me and this piece here captures his look perfectly. As we turn around to the side of Bumblebee's head you can see what once again, that battle damaged rust effect that we have going on here throughout the helmet in order to give you a very realistic and authentic feel. The silver pieces here for the sides of where Bumblebee's ears are, and I just love the elegance to all of the sculpted in panels. You can see as well that they've even detailed the actual display base that this collectible piece comes with. However, I'll go over that in more detail later on for the review. As we turn around to the back, they've even gone as far as detailing and sculpting in the back of Bumblebee's helmet to match the on-screen CGI model, and this just to similar as the front I think looks absolutely beautiful. You can once again see here the display base has been designed so that this looks like Bumblebee's neck. So we've got the spinal detailing here at the back of all of the tubes that come out from the sides. Just truly a remarkable, remarkable looking piece. And then just giving you one last 360 degree rotation on this piece, you can just see how extraordinary Killer Body have come in creating potentially one of the best Transformers related helmets of all time. I truly think that this is going to be a masterpiece in any Transformers fans collection and is no doubt one of the centerpieces and holy grail pieces in my entire Transformers collection. And now taking a look here at the detailing of the included display base, once again, similarly to what I stated when we were taking a look at the detailing of the helmet, I believe that this is an amazing recreation of Bumblebee's neck design. You can really see how much attention and love that Killer Body have put into their pieces as they've turned a very simple idea such as the display base into an almost centerpiece in itself. I think that the detailing on this, as well as the paintwork, you can see we've got the silver highlights as well as the rust damaged effects scattered throughout, really do set this apart from some of the other display bases that we get with helmets out there. I really do think that this is a marvellous looking piece. You can see we've got all of the tubes here, very accurate to the on-screen CGI model. And as we turn around to the back, you've got the spinal detailing there with the springs. Just an astounding looking piece. As we turn around once again to the front, we do have an Autobot insignia here where it really would be in the movie. However, this is indeed the remote control. So I just think that once again, that is such a lovely touch. And even when we remove that, you can see that we've got some phenomenal sculpted and detailing in there. They really have put so much care and attention into this piece. And now turning to the top section of the display base, you can see that this is an area that perhaps you wouldn't even see once you you have the helmet over the top but they've even gone the extra mile to weather and sculpting detailings here such as the Autobot insignia and add some of that fantastic looking rust effect. The display base in itself as stated before I believe is a centerpiece on its own. And so now turning to some of the features that this helmet has got incorporated into it, if I wasn't already blown away enough by the amazing amount of detail and paintwork that this piece has packed into it, then I sure am blown away now. As we turn under to the underside of the helmet, you are witnessed to a variety of different switches. However, in order to really power the helmet up, in order to utilize its battle mask feature, you're first of all going to want to flick this switch here. You will get a power up sound and the LED eyes will begin to light up. You're then going to want to flick on the switch in here and this will just power up the battle mask. So you can see that we do just get a blue LED that will light up once you know that that is activated and then placing the helmet back down and putting it back onto the display base. Here, we're going to showcase the amazing features. So in order to activate the features, you can do so in two different ways. This helmet is both remote controlled as well as voice controlled. However, for this segment, I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize the remote control. So you saw earlier on that it is sculpted in a way to look as if though it is the Autobot insignia, which once again, I just think goes to show how much care and attention Killer Body have put into this piece. You're going to want to turn this section on and 
and you'll know that it's turned on as the eyes of the auto point insignia will pulsate a slight white glow. So just to show you that once more, just turn that on, you can see that they do very quickly blink on and then off. And in order to ensure that it is connected to the head, you're going to want to push this switch here. And that will make the helmet emit the transformation sound. And now we get into the main event itself. Pushing this button here will make Bumblebee flip into battle mode. And I just think that that is absolutely fantastic. You saw how quickly the animatronic mechanism worked in order to just completely shoot the battle mask over. Very fluent in terms of the way it did it. And I think that the detailing and the sculpt work here on this battle mask is truly fantastic. Much like it was there for the main helmet design. You can see we've got all of this silver panel lining detailing. And the eyes have also got that honeycombed effect that we also saw within the Bumblebee movie. However, of course, if Bumblebee wants to switch from battle mode to his more friendly appearance, you simply just want to tap the same button once once more and you can see that seamlessly the battle mask will be retracted into the main helmet and I think that that is such an astounding feature. Pushing this button here will cause the eye light to turn off. You can see that we get a really awesome power down noise and the LEDs do slowly fade out and of course to reactivate them you just push it once more and you get this really nice power up sound and once again similarly to when they faded out they will fade back on again. So those are the main features that this helmet has to offer however he still has more so we're going to delve into those right now. Now as stated at the beginning of this review this piece here is both remote controlled as well as voice controlled however this particular product that I have here before me is the Chinese voice controlled and of course I am not fluent in Chinese so please do excuse me if my Chinese isn't on point for this review I've only had a couple of days to learn a couple of lines and I just really want to demonstrate the voice controlled feature so to begin with in order to get the transformation sound and to call Bumblebee Bumblebee you're going to want to say Da Hong Fong and there you will get the transformation sound and in order for him to deploy the battle mask you're going to want to say Jin Ru Zandong Mo Shi and you can see that will cause the battle mask to shoot out of the inner section of the helmet and for Bumblebee here to deploy his battle mask and then in order for the battle mask to be retracted back into the helmet you're going to want to say Ji Chu Zandong Mo Shi and you can see those are just some very brief Chinese phrases that I have tried my best to learn for the purposes of this review. Of course, I know they weren't perfect, but I really just wanted to demonstrate that for those of you who watch my reviews and are Chinese speaking, that this will definitely respond to some Chinese phrases. So that in itself to me is just absolutely extraordinary. The fact that this is both remote controlled as well as voice controlled is truly remarkable. And I haven't seen a helmet on the market that has any sort of features that are similar to this. And here just turning off all of the lights within my review station just so you can truly appreciate how bright the LEDs are that Killer Body have implemented within this helmet. You can see that Bumblebee's eyes look absolutely extraordinary with all of the LEDs around there for the eyes. However, once you open the battle mask, that also has its own set of LEDs. So without further ado, let's take a look at those right now. So you can see that once you deploy the battle mask, the actual mask itself will light up with these amazing blue LEDs which will just highlight the amount of detailing that they have applied here for the visor. You can see that honeycomb detailing and if I just turn off another one of my lights so that we can get a better appreciation, you can see how amazing that looks, how bright the LEDs are. I think they've done an amazing job. It's literally lighting up my entire review station here with no lights on whatsoever. So an amazing job there with the LEDs. And just because it's an amazing feature, let's retract the battle mask. And the fun doesn't even stop there. Not only is this piece voice controlled as well as radio controlled, but it also does have a built-in Bluetooth speaker for you to actually connect your smartphone device to or any Bluetooth compatible device in order to play music or some of your favorite TV shows through. So in order to access this feature, you're going to want to make sure that the main helmet itself is completely powered down and turned off as you do not want to cause any damage when actually lifting this helmet section up. So please ensure that you've turned off both the battle mask as well as the main mask itself. And then that will then allow you to gently lift up this top section and I will bring this in for a closer look but there is a switch on the inside section of this helmet. Pairing. 
and you can hear there that the helmet will make that same power up noise however this time a lot louder than what we got here with the initial mask power up and it will also state that it is pairing as now it is looking for devices that have Bluetooth capability. So just close the helmet up and we'll sync this up with a smartphone and show you the range of what this speaker can do. You'll then want to open the Bluetooth section on your smartphone and this on my copy comes up as KBTFH. You're going to want to connect to that Connected. And very quickly, almost instantly, it will state that the helmet is connected to your smartphone device. And it is from here that you can begin playing any sounds that you would from your smartphone or from any device that has Bluetooth capability and make the sound emit directly from the Bumblebee helmet. Now I'm not sure whether or not you would have been able to hear the potential that this speaker has but believe me, with this sitting in front of me, the sound that this just emitted was absolutely ear deafening. This is a fantastic speaker, really high quality and is incredibly loud. Of course, you can adjust the volume on your smartphone device or any device that has Bluetooth capability to your own desire but here I had the volume turn all the way up and for me, I'm not sure about how it will sound on camera but that was definitely a very high quality speaker and the sound quality honestly is one of the best that I've ever heard from a Bluetooth speaker so really in all I just think that this is a fantastic piece. And now of course as this helmet is designed to be worn you can see that inside the helmet we have all of these cushion pads both here where your ears would go here where your nose would go as well as here for your forehead and of course we've got this entire section here which is supposed to house the top of your head. Upon wearing this I can honestly say that this is one of the most comfortable helmets that I've ever had the privilege to actually wear. It's very adjustable you can see here at the top that you simply just untab this section it is held in via free clips so just untab that and you can adjust it to your head size and for me it fits perfectly I have about a medium sized head and I have no issues with that whatsoever and as you saw here it's fully cushioned so please be rest assured that whilst you're wearing the helmet it's definitely still a very pleasant experience and you can see that we have this complete padded area here for your nose so even when turning to the wearability factor of this you can once again see the amount of level of detail and time that Killer Body have taken in order to ensure that they are producing the best product possible and now for whatever reason if you accidentally leave this helmet on display without turning it off off, it will go into an almost sleep mode and essentially power itself down however you don't have to turn off and then turn on the switch in order for the helmet to reactivate you simply just push here on this section and the helmet will begin to power up and you'll be able to use all of its features just as you could if you just turned it on so that to me is great especially if you have this on display and so now finally, turning to the rechargeability aspect of both the remote control as well as the main helmet, Killer Body have already included rechargeable batteries in both pieces and this piece here does come with a USB cable that you can just peg in here and then connect to an adapter, connect that up to a main socket and then you can begin to recharge and the instructions detail incredibly thoroughly on how long they should charge for, how much play you roughly do get out both the remote control as well as the helmet. I believe that when the helmet is fully charged, you get something like three and a half hours worth of play out of that which for me I think is absolutely fantastic. It also does demonstrate how long roughly the remote control, the main helmet as well as the battle mask and the Bluetooth component take to charge. So once again, please if you do purchase this product, give the instructions a very detailed read over as you'll want to know as much as you possibly can about this piece in order to maximize your play value. So even in terms of the overall rechargeability of the batteries, I think that Killer Body have once again done an amazing job and it is really convenient just to recharge these and not have to continuously go out to the shops or purchase batteries online for batteries that have depleted and have died so really awesome here that we do get rechargeable batteries with both the helmet and here with the remote control and so that was my review on the Killer Body Transformers Bumblebee remote and voice controlled helmet. If you haven't guessed already from this review, I'm absolutely blown away by this release by Killer Body. I think that they've done an incredible job in not only creating a very sophisticated piece of technology, but also creating a centerpiece. This for sure will be a centerpiece in many Transformers fans collections. This as a display piece looks absolutely fantastic. The paintwork as well as the sculpted in detailing is truly some of the best I've ever seen. I love all of the rust detailing. The actual 
display piece itself is as detailed as the mask with a very authentic representation of how Bumblebee's neck design looks within the film. You've got all of the tubes here. They've even gone the extra mile to stylize the remote control to look like the Autobot insignia. And in all, I just think that this is a fantastic piece. The flip down battle mask as well as the retracted battle mask feature in whatever way you use it, either remote control or voice controlled, is going to blow you away no matter how many times you utilize it. I truly think that it is one of the best helmets that I've ever seen on the market and Killer Body are doing a fantastic job with this piece. So with all that being said, if you are in the market for adding this piece to your collection, please be sure to check out the links down in the description box below. I thoroughly enjoyed taking a look at this and reviewing this all for you guys. So I'd be really eager for you to all let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this piece and whether or not you'll be adding it to your collection. I really do hope that you enjoyed this review and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.